So range safety and range etiquette have a lot of overlap. So go back and watch that video about range safety. But right now I want to talk about some things of etiquette. These are things that just are accepted and or unacceptable as your behavior when you're out here at the range. And safety is items one through a hundred. We're talking about controlling the direction of your firearm, having it in the rack when there are people downrange. So many things about being safe is also part of proper etiquette. The other thing is if you see unsafe activities, go and mention that to the person and help them be safe. Now, when we get into the actual etiquette itself, there are things about cleaning up after yourself, policing your targets, making sure that the range is cold before anyone goes down range. If you hear people hit the ceasefire bell, make sure that what you do, you stop shooting, you take your firearm and you go and you put it in the rack. When people are downrange, you never have firearms pointed downrange. So some basic things of what you do, you always pull your targets when you're done. What that means is when you're done shooting, don't just load up in your vehicle and drive away. Wait until the range gets cleared, go pull your targets. Don't litter, police your brass. In other words, if you are shooting, take your brass. We have dumpsters here. Every range I know has dumpsters to put your brass if you don't reload. And I don't care if that's the casings from your shotgun or the brass from your rifles. Always, when you're shooting, make sure you have a safe backstop. Do not shoot at anything without a backstop behind your target and make sure it's dirt. The other thing is a lot of rangers do not allow the use of what we call tracer targets or any type of uh, target that's gonna create a spark or other ignition during periods of dryness or, or potential fire. Right now our range is cold and we, we had some guys go down range, set up their targets and they're getting ready to shoot. But before anybody shoots, we will look every direction. Everyone will make sure that there's nobody downrange. We will say hot, or there will be some command at your range that indicates, hey, we're going to start shooting. When people start shooting, all those safety precautions that we talked about are even more important because now you have people with live rounds in firearms pointed downrange. You don't be moving them in unsafe directions. You don't be doing anything that puts anybody at risk. So once we've shot our groups and you try to let people finish their groups, if, if you see that someone's trying to, to work a group up, uh, let them get through their group. And then we have a bell, just about every range has a bell that you ring. And when you ring it, you make sure that everybody hears it and you say, hey, clear clear, cold, or whatever your command is at your range, that you're telling people, we want to clear the range so people can go check their groups, can go do whatever they have to do, place new targets, pull targets. And at that time, when that bell rings, you take your firearm and you bring it back in the rack and you open the bolt. And everything is now again about safety, safety, safety. Thanks for watching.